My name is Abigail. I am a sophomore at Omaha Benson. Hold it down. And my poem's title is Pretty Hands. My friend over there likes you. A joke that only gets worse the more it's told. A joke known to chew out like a wasp's larva. I'd hear it one time and would be bound to hear it a hundred times more. It's tasteless, it's tacky, it's vile. It makes me hate men. My friend over there likes you. I've noticed a pattern, it makes me bitter to speak. You prey on women who look weak, women who feel left out from their friends. Prettier friends, kissable friends, lovable friends. But those women have heard it many times before those women know your tricks. They know how you feed them parasites. Worms that'll make them look better, make them feel better, make them skinnier, make them prettier. But I don't care for your parasites, your worms, or your jokes. I don't care about being pretty. I don't care about how my friends are prettier than me. I don't care about how you pick me specifically to terrorize rather than them. I don't care about how society views me. Screw society, these expectations unrealistic. Not everyone can or wants to be a Megan Fox because at the end of the day, Machine Gun Kelly comes with, and we all hate Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> I don't need a reminder that my face is that of a dog's rather than a human's, that my eyes look like a raccoon's rather than a person's that my body is closer to a seal than a woman. I am happy with who I am and you won't tell me otherwise. My friend over there likes you. I remember a time where I thought everyone liked me. A time where I thought I was hot stuff and the prettiest girl in town. I learned soon that I'm not. My mirror has proven me that much. I had issues with my image, pushing them down and telling myself that when I love myself, I'll be pretty, but I see no change. But I went wrong one day. I must have been desperate when someone, a boy my age, finally laid eyes up on me. I am persuaded to open my doors up on the sound of small praise, words I never heard before. He told me I was holdable, I was touchable, I was provocative, but I was cherished in a way no one should be cherished. I was cherished for a part of me I couldn't see beyond a double XL hoodie, a part of me no one should see, a part of me only I should see in shower mirrors and changing rooms. Guilt was present feeling like a traitor to my mother, the woman who gifted me myself only for me to throw it to someone else. Eventually his eyes began to feel like hands and I began to hate being touched. I am repulsed at the idea of hands. But maybe if I loved myself more, maybe if I remembered all I told myself to never fall for, I wouldn't have to fear another human's hands. So who's your friend?